Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Crop circles, strange patterns that appear mysteriously overnight in farmers' fields, are not simply the wild fantasies of Hollywood directors. No, crop circles are probably real. The circles are mostly found in the United Kingdom, particularly in southwest England, but have spread to dozens of countries around the world in past decades. The mystery has inspired countless books, blogs, fan groups, researchers, dubbed seriologists. Despite having been studied for decades, the question remains. Who or what is making them? What do you think? In 1857, the Western Literary Messenger reported that a skeleton of a giant had been found, with a report of the individual measuring 10 feet 9 inches tall. Wheeling Times, 1857. Skeleton of giant found. A day or two since, some workmen engaged in subsoiling the grounds of Sheriff Wickham, at his vineyard in East Wheeling, came across a human skeleton. Although much decayed, there was little difficulty in identifying it by placing the bones, which could not have belonged to other than the human body, in their original position. The impression made by the skeleton in the earth and the skeleton itself were measured by a sheriff and a brother in the craft locale, both of whom were prepared to swear that it was 10 feet 9 inches in length. His jaws and teeth were almost as large as those of a horse. The bones are to be seen at the sheriff's office. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. There is so much more than just protein and melanin. Each strand is a tiny chronicle of every emotional, hormonal, and nutritional experience. In modern Western culture, while we may not have the conscious understanding of the spiritual impact of how and who we choose to do our hair, nevertheless it's a big energy exchange. In shamanic practice, there is a ceremony called the cutting of cords, a release of old energies, patterns, beliefs, and connections. Yes, after certain events in our life, we do have that feeling of wanting to cut our hair. You might think of regular trips to the salon as trenchazing our vanity, but that's not always the case, says the shamans. What do you think? From a big bang to the perfect 666. The Earth's axis, its orbital inclination around the Sun, is 66.6 .6 degrees. The Earth orbits the Sun at 66,600 miles per hour. The Earth's circumference is 21,600 nautical miles. 21,600 is 600 times 6 times 6. The speed of sound is 666 knots per second. The force of gravity on Earth is 666 newtons. The Arctic and Antarctic circles are at exactly 66.6 .6 degrees. Astronaut Peggy Whitson spent 666 days in space. The diameter of the moon is 2,160 miles. 2,160 is 6 times 6 times 60. 
From Mercury, the Sun is 666 times brighter, using the inverse square law. Venus is 464 degrees Celsius, or 867 degrees Fahrenheit. The median of these two numbers is 666. Mars is at 1.666 astronomical units from the Sun at aphelion. What do you think? In 1936, workers near Baghdad, while excavating the ruins of the 2,000-year-old village of Kujat Rabu, discovered a strange artifact. The artifact looked like a 13-centimeter clay pot, with a cylinder of copper sheet measuring about 5 inches by 1.5 inches embedded within it. Inside this cylinder, an iron rod was placed in the center, sealed at the top with resin resembling bitumen. The rod appeared to have been corroded by some kind of acidic composition similar to electrolyte. This battery has been dated between 248 BC and 226 AD, and what it may have been designed for remains a mystery. Many archaeologists are convinced that these artifacts are batteries, but the Parthians themselves used them not for their intended purpose, but inherited them from the Sumerian civilization. At the bottom of the Baltic Sea, lies a strange object. Who hasn't tried to study it, from professional archaeologists and historians, to ordinary theorists? Many assumptions have been made about it, both quite scientific and fantastic. However, what is actually the object is still unclear. Scientists have found that the object is underwater at a depth of 87 meters, a very dangerous dive for humans, especially given the cold waters of the Baltic Sea. The Swedes made the first deep-sea survey of the object. Indeed, the whole thing looks like either a crash or an emergency landing. As for the representatives of official science, they are trying to convince the public that the object has a geological origin. But how nature managed to create an object of fairly regular shape and the shape of a flying saucer, no one from the researchers could answer. India. In the temple Panchavarnaswamy, built 2300 years ago, traveler and researcher, Pravin Mohan, discovered the image of a cyclist. At first, scholars declared the Ba's relief a forgery during the 1920 restoration, but research revealed no signs of a newfangled image, for the drawing is not carved, it protrudes, indicating that it was made during the making and processing of the column. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.